Look at how happy he is. That's the face of a happy perch. Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're after Jumbo Perch. <laughs> Oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah. Look at this guy. Now that I can feel my hands, that's a nice perch. Let me see him. There you go. That's a good one for the table. They're really loving my salted minnows. And I bought these minnows and they all died on me within a few days. And it was uh, just a shame, I didn't want to throw them out. So I fig Googled how to make salted minnows and there's so many different ways to do it uh, that I ended up just doing it my own way without following any kind of recipe or anything. And so far, I'm very pleased with the results of these bad boys. Oh yeah, this feels like a good fish. What is this? Oh, my other rod's going too. Oh my gosh, that's a huge one. Here we go. Double, doubled up. This is just, oh, hello. Oh no. Oh my God. What a nightmare. Oh, it's cause I'm tangled in both my lines. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Look at him. He ate both my lures. Look at that. Can you see that? He ate both my lures. What a greedy pig, and he's a big fat fatty too. There we go. Oh my gosh. Just hammering the perch. Huh. I can go back. I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna not have two lines in the water because I can't keep up with them. They're so aggressive. I've never experienced this kind of aggressiveness in fish in my life. It feels so good. Those are some huge marks. Man, these are some big perch I got coming out here. There we go. Oh my gosh, this is another big one. Oh man. Oh my God. Oh, holy moly. Oh, oh. Jeez. Oh, they're getting lighter with the bite. Just a little guy. You, my friend, get a free meal. Oh. So guys, normally I would say that you're nuts if you're sitting in a shack like this and you only have one line in the water. However, today has been an absolutely abnormal day fishing for me. The bite is so hot, I had to take my second line out because I could not manage both of them at the same time. But normally, I would say, have that second line out because why not? You're allowed. Oh boy, this is a big fish. What is this? This feels good. This is a big perch. Oh, no, no. What does he have in his mouth? It's not the tail of what I just fed him. Oh boy. Look at this guy. Look what I'm about to pull out of this perch's mouth. Look at that. Look at the size of this perch and look at the size of this shad that he was eating. And he, and he still ate my lure. That's nuts. The greedy fish. There we go. That's just a little one. It's weird on days like today when you think about all the money you spend on tackle 
and then it's just one day you use the same lure the entire day and catch all the fish on one lure. And for me, today, that lure is the Frostbite Micro Golden Dinner Bell, tipped with just a little bit of salt. In it. Oh, there we go. What have I got here? Oh, this is a this is a nice sized fish, I think. Oh, what is this? Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Look at this perch! Oh my man! He is a monster! Oh man! Look at this! Look at this fat boy! Ooh! They're coming on! Boom! Feels big. Oh no, it's just a little one. I decided to put my second lure down again, and uh, all I have on here is just a little tungsten jig. I believe it's an Eagle Claw one that I bought last year, maybe, and Berkeley Gulp uh, Swordtail Minnows. That's what I got on on the other route. Oh, look at that. There we go. Another little guy, I think. Uh, you know what? You can go back home. You're too small. Oh, I'm about to get smashed on one of these lines. Ah, oh, this just feels like a little one. Yeah. Turn it off. I'm dying. It's too hot. Oh, and I'm on again. <laughs> this is just a small one. This was such an intense day of perch fishing for me, and it was the greatest one that I've ever had. But if I've shown you every single perch catch that I had that day, this video would be about 45 minutes long. That's why there's a few gaps in between the number counter at the bottom right of the screen. So, oh my gosh. Now they're so aggressive again. Oh my gosh, this is a, uh, it feels like a big, big perch. Oh man, oh mama. Look at this absolute unit of a perch. Whew. Man, the jumbos are out to play today. This is just wild. This is wild, wild fishing for me. Last night, I asked my wife to pick a spot. I showed her my Navionics map, and I said, pick a spot, and I'm gonna go there and fish. And she put her finger on a number, and that's where I am right now. I'm literally, I am drilled, my holes are drilled within one meat, oh, geez. My holes are drilled within one meter of where she put her finger on my Navionics map. And so that's where I came to fish, I guess. Ow. I really have my wife to thank for this day because she picked this spot. You know what, little dude? You can have it. There you go. I only have one rod in. So all I have right now is this one rod. I've been using this golden micro dinner bell all day long, just tipped with a little bit of salted minnow meat, and they just cannot stay off of it. I haven't even had a chance to drink or eat or do anything. I'm just trying to like have a moment so I can eat something or have a sip of my coffee, and I just can't because they're just all over it. Not that it's a bad problem to have, but it's a problem that I have. Like, you see. They're all over it. You can see it on the graph right now. Look at that. I'm already on again. And these are some decent sized perch that are hitting right now. This one's going to go back. I have, I don't know how many fish I've caught, and I'll tell you, I have never, I've never in my life caught a limit of any fish that I've been targeting. And let alone a limit of what of a high limit, like something like perch. 
where the limit is like obscene. It's like 50 fish or something like that. I don't actually know, but I'm going to check it out. Just I'm going to look it up in the regs in just a minute to see what the actual limit is. Obviously, I'm not keeping 50 perch, but, you know, I probably have 10 or so in my bucket. I can't. I can't even have a sip of my coffee. <laughs> I got one sip. Again, oh my goodness, come on. Give me a break. Let's see if I can get a, a bite of this sandwich I made. And mom, if you're watching this, you probably already know what kind of sandwich this is. But for the rest of you watching, this is a peanut butter and jam sandwich but with honey on it. And my mom used to make these for me when I was a kid, and I could have lived off these things. I'll tell you what, I still could. They're delicious. Bottom. Is this a little perch? Oh, it was. It was up there hanging out at 10 feet. That's different. If you guys have been watching my channel for like uh, any period of time, you'll know that I don't have days like this. I don't ever get days like this. It's always, uh, you know, one, two, maybe three fish kind of days. And today I've probably caught about three. I'll go back. I'll watch all the footage and I'll watch every single fish catch to find out just exactly how many perch I caught today. There we go. Got that one. There we go. All I've been using that I've caught 95% of my fish on today was this Frostbite Micro Golden Dinner Bell, just tipped with a little bit of salted minnow meat that uh, I did myself right here. And I tell you, it has just slayed the perch. If I can bring home like 20 or 30 perch today, these nice jumbos. I won't have to keep another perch probably for like the rest of the season. There, right, look at those perky fins. Oh, ah, oh. Set a tip up up outside and just keep this one line down here for perch because this is this is outrageous i think that's what i'm going to do the prime time bite is just about to start setting in hopefully some walleye will start to run through but if not man i'm so okay with what i've got here oh boy this is another big fish oh yeah it's pulling this is a big perch this is a huge perch oh my gosh Oh my god, oh my gosh. Oh man! Oh man! Look at that. Oh man, it is gone. This day has just been unreal for me. Unreal day of fishing. Look at this guy. Look at this perch. He is huge. Yeah, I love it when they flare their fins up like that. Now this is a day of perch fishing I will not soon forget. Is that my tip up? <laughs> Got me excited. Oh. oh, there's my tip up. Let's go. Oh, it is. It's spinning. It's spinning. It's spinning. It's spinning. Oh, look at that thing go. See if I might be my first tip up fish. First tip up fish. Oh, got it. What is it? 
feels like a perch. <laughs> oh, it is a perch. Not bad. My first tip up fish ever is a perch. Never would have thought. But, uh, <laughs> I'll take it. A perch on a tip up is probably not like the biggest thing in the world. But for me, that's the first fish I ever hand lined in. The first fish I ever caught on a tip up. And it was a perch. I'm cool with that. Let's get back to the fish. Not lazy or what? Can't even bend over to tap my rod. I use my foot. There you go. Finally. It's been like probably 10 minutes since I had a bite. Oh yeah. This feels like a big mama. Not a big mama. Can't see my tip up. Oh shit, my flag's up. I didn't even hear it. What's going on out there? It's not spinning. Oh, yes it is. It's moving. Everybody says perch fishing is easy. And I'll tell you what, perch fishing is not always easy. Yeah, when you have a day like today, super easy. But not every day is like today. As you've seen with all my videos, like, I never have a day like this, which is also why I'm keeping so many of these perch, even the, even the, like, you know, the bigger, bigger ones that normally maybe I wouldn't keep. You know what? Time to go. Until next time, see you guys later.